The saints often have fascinating stories, and today's saint, Ambrose, is no exception. Hi, I'm Father James Kabicki with some words about the life of Saint Ambrose. In the year 370, when Ambrose was the Roman governor of Milan, he tried to resolve a heated argument over who the next bishop would be. His words struck such a chord in people that someone shouted out, Ambrose for bishop! He was speechless, for he had no intention of being a priest or a bishop, and he wasn't even baptized. He was still a catechumen who was preparing for baptism. But the people prevailed, and he was baptized and then consecrated bishop a week later. His words continued to be very effective, and it was through his preaching that the great St. Augustine renounced his heresies and wild living and became a Christian. Perhaps his most courageous act was to excommunicate the Emperor Theodosius, who had massacred 7,000 people in Thessalonica because the Roman governor there had been killed in a riot. Theodosius had to do public penance for months before he was readmitted to the sacraments. To justify the use of this spiritual authority over the emperor, St. Ambrose said, the emperor is in the church, not over it. I think that's a good reminder to us today that bishops do have an important role to play in the lives of the faithful, even those who are political leaders. Let's pray in a special way today for our bishops that they may have the gifts of preaching and courage that St. Ambrose had. Father James Kabicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.